guys and welcome to this new video tutorial in this video i will show you how you could use vlc media player for recording your desktop or for recording your screen to do that click and open your vlc go to the first option on the left called media and click on it choose the sixth option or the option called open capture device or simply press ctrl c next step in capture mode make sure that you are in capture device and in capture mode select desktop next line go to desired frame rate and make sure to select as a minimum 30 personally i choose 60 for better quality and the next step next to play there is a little arrow click on it to see more options click on convert and here we will choose the profile of our video so the produced or generated video after recording our screen how we want it to be or what quality it should be for me i want the type to be mp4 with h264 plus mp3 you can choose whatever suits you and you have multiple options even video for youtube with hd and with hd and also for android so make sure to choose the codec which suits you the most for me for now i will choose the first option Next step, destination file is the file where the video produced or generated will be recorded or will be saved. For now, I will select browse and I will make sure that it's recorded or saved in the, under this file. Make sure to name your video as desired and click save. Next step, click start. Now the recording of your desktop or your screen will start. Once done, you can reduce the VLC and once done with recording your activity, you can go back to VLC and click on the stop button and this should end up the recording. You will find your video in the destination file which you have chosen. As I said, now that we are finished, we can go ahead and click VLC and here I have my video which, ha which I have been recording. Thank you guys for watching. If you are still in need of help or assistance, you can always write us a comment or send us an email and we will do our best to help you. If you'd like to encourage us, you can always press like and share and do not forget to subscribe to get our latest video. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.